Welcome back to the Synergy Sits Thursday evening show, everybody. Today, we are going to be talking about the importance of functional fitness, and we have an incredible guest on the show today. Make sure you stay tuned right to the very end because this gent has got so much to share with you about your personal fitness. He has he is more shredded than the actual shredder, so don't miss out on a single second here with him. Welcome to the show today, Jordi. Welcome to the show today, Etan. Thank you for being here with us today. Awesome. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Very cool, Definitely. man. Jordi, so obviously, as you know, every Thursday night we've been doing these uh, sits. And uh, today we How long have, have you been doing them for? Uh, we've now been doing them officially for a month, right? So, nice. yeah. And uh, we've been consistent with them. So the video will get published now. And uh, yeah, it's doing well so far. So we're very, very excited. And talking to our community live, especially, I know that this will end up being recorded, but it will be published pretty much after the recording. We get good people starting to follow. There's more traction. There's more views on the channel. And this is what picks up more traction on the channel. Amazing. So, you know, we know that you're very active on your social medias and you are obviously involved in the business. You've got your beautiful yin yang yoga logo in the back there, and uh, your business is Shred Movement. So, tell us a little bit about Shred Movement and where it comes from, and and tell us a bit about your journey. Yeah, so Shred Movements, obviously, the yin yang logo is a newer version of it. it used to just be SM, um, and ultimately, you know, I've personally gone through some journeys currently going through some at the moment and shred movement it's obviously i am shred movement so it's my own philosophy which allows me to use movement to shred old habits and use them to a movement to move into a better healthier way of living you know obviously shred because i've always been called shredded i am obviously quite lean and in good shape um but it's important to, as we're doing these body weight movements, calisthenics movements, break dancing movements, skipping yoga, whatever it may be, we are moving and transcending ourselves into a much better mental space. You know, sometimes we don't know where to turn and we don't know what to do. And the best thing to do is try and move, even sometimes be still, sitting still in a yoga position. So shred movement is shredding, shredding old habits using movements to move into a better, healthier, frame of mind and the yin yang logo is obviously there for um to just understand the darkness within and we can obviously move towards the light and also understanding masculine and feminine energy within us as well as out there you know and i think it's a very very important thing for all of us at the moment you know i think we all misled with masculine and feminine energy and we all try to suppress our emotions and our emotional state and it's it's almost impossible like obviously you can't react to emotions and act out of anger and do ridiculous things but when you're experiencing experiencing them in your heart in your body in your spirit you're feeling them so you have to try and deal with it in a healthy way that's basically that in a nutshell oh that's amazing johnny like really fantastic i mean we've all known each other for several years now we first met in the yeah. calisthenics <laughs> Actually, well, so it's absolutely incredible to see your journey and to be a part of your journey as well. Um, the one key thing there was your emotion. Keep your emotion in control. And we always say here on the show, like energy and motion. And you fantastically, uh, from an outward perspective, control your body immensely like to perfection. It's incredible to see your dynamic movements and your static movements. Appreciate it. Definitely so. You know, that shows that balance. You know, the yin yang logo is like really complementary to who you are internally. And that just gets outwardly expressed. So, energy and motion, man. Fantastic to see it. Appreciate it. It, is, really do. it is so true. You know, I must say uh, the, the idea of functional fitness is that you use your own body weight. So, Jordi, can you describe to the community what calisthenics is actually about? And we'll start off with calisthenics. Uh, yeah, well, should start off with calisthenics because, I mean, that's where the whole journey started, to be honest with you. And then, obviously, it 
developed into something else. And calisthenics actually is a Greek word. And I was writing uh, some stuff about it the other day. But calisthenics is actually, Kali means the most beautiful and thenics is strength. So that's why people are so mesmerized by calisthenics athletes because it's literally the the most beautiful strength and i think when we get to a certain level we've worked so hard and we don't realize how beautiful it actually is because behind the beauty is a lot of pain internally and physically you know and calisthenics is obviously you know the best way when people ask me what do you do what is calisthenics the best way for me to describe it to someone is um you know those people you are on a, they hold themselves sideways in a human flag. I think that's the best way to ex explain it to someone and they're like, look, mind blown. But I think people tend to, because obviously you build a very good physique, you look strong and you do certain things and you become very in tune. It's a very, very spiritual, lonely journey as well because when, when it finds you, you don't find it, it finds you, I believe. You Love dealing with something in your life and it helps you. So it allows you to go inward and be alone because you're not going to be good at it. You, you, you're terrible when you start calisthenics and there's no shortcut. You can't run, you can't hide, you know, it's not, and a no disrespect to people who do weights and no disrespect to cross CrossFit and anything else like that. Even I've done a lot of boxing. Boxing is extremely difficult. I think it's one of the hardest things in the world to do, but ultimately anyone can throw a jab. It may be a terrible jab, you know, obviously, Boxing is a whole other story. Um, but when it comes to uh, like even golf, hitting a golf ball, things like that, with calisthenics and body weight movement, like even with CrossFit, you know, you can squat light weights or you can clean and jerk like a five kilogram, kilo something, something light. You can still perform a movement, is what I'm saying. Whether you're bad at it or whatever, you can perform it. Calisthenics, you can't. Body weight movement, it'll take you two to three years to build up strength to maybe be a beginner at it. So it's a, it's a beautiful thing. It takes time. Um, I've also had a lot of adversity, dealt with injuries and came back from that. So, you know, it's always, it's always there for me. Thank God if I'm not injured. You know, there's always other ways to do it. And people often, like when I link it to the CrossFit and weights and things like that, people think you're egotistical. And I always use mm. calisthenics and I compare it to like yoga and Pilates and things like that. It's a, it's, it's art and people yeah. tend to think you might be arrogant or you might be, and they, they, they attach it to the fitness industry and the fitness industry doesn't have a good stigma behind it. And they don't tend to like, I've gone to yoga classes and because of the way I look and obviously I'm in shape, I've got a good muscle mass and things like that. People tend to think I'm like a bodybuilder, you know, they give me a certain attitude, but there's a risk factor to calisthenics. You know, it's not yoga. Anyone can go to a yoga class and be bad at yoga and be on a mat and just sit there. No disrespect to that form of body weight movement. It's a body weight movement. But calisthenics, to me, it's like your ultimate form of body weight movement. It's literally like, I always explain it to people. It's literally like, if you've got BMWs, it's the M5 of movement. <laughs> Maybe gymnastics is there because it's different, you know? So there's this... Yeah. It's a, it's a, it's actually an incredible thing to be dead honest with you. So, yeah, that's the dynamic. That's definitely the dynamic flow, the gymnastics part of it. You know, you definitely get uh, gymnastics athletes that uh, show the physique, and you know, it's about the flow and what have you. So, when we talk about calisthenics, I mean, you touched on it earlier. You know, there's this transition up to you know three years, and you're only starting out this beginning. And you phase. guys will know because you've done it. Like uh hundred percent, you know, and it definitely it takes a lot of control, you know, uh, just to get into levers and you know attempting the muscle ups and there's these different names that are associated with it. Ultimately, you have this sense of bodily control, and you know we we of course keep in tune with your awesome videos. Check them out, That's community, insane. really fantastic with it. But now. You know, Jordy's like gone on to this weighted calisthenics, so pushing his boundaries, you know, even more so. And that takes a beautiful sense of control, the mental attribute that few can actually keep consistent with. And you have your dark days, and I'm a firm believer yeah, in this. Been, brother, let me tell you. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. And those help you through those dark days, man. That, you know, exercise and 
you know, training is fantastic just to pull you out of a mental depression and it really just does amazing things, not just mentally and emotionally, but physically as well. Yeah, you know, so there's so much dynamic there as well. Love I know it. That I think it's like someone who is like starting straight movements, you know, being just the yin yang and being in that darkness and being in depression states, which I've been in. You know, the main thing about exercise, it just makes you feel, because ultimately we don't have control, but it makes you feel like you have some sort of control in this chaos in your life. So things are bad. You know, when things are, when whoever you are, whoever's watching, when things are bad and, and, and you lose things and someone dies or a relationship ends or you change jobs and you don't know what to do, exercise is that form of thing where it's not going to solve your problems, but it still allows you to kind of keep in check and just, it, it makes you feel like you're not falling that far down. It makes you feel like you're still climbing back up. You're still getting back up. It's still like... You know, if you're in financial strain or something's going on and you're stressing and you, it's still that form of like an element of growth and an element of evolution. So that's the beauty. And, you know, that's what I've been focusing a lot on lately. You know, it's not this thing of like, yeah, you're going to train and you're going to learn calisthenics and you're not going to be depressed or you're not going to be whatever. Like, you still kind of feel that way. But at least you're going to be prepared for an opportunity that comes in the future. So you're not like doing nothing about it. So it gives you that form of like, I'm getting back up. Instead of just sitting, eating food, playing Xbox and doing things that aren't beneficial for anything. You know what I mean? Absolutely. You know, <laughs> decompression and uh, release of that day stress and anxiety. That's the most beautiful form. Just releasing those endorphins through training, through exercise. That's what Jordy's saying here. And that's everybody. expression, eh? Yeah. Also, what people don't get is, is with, like, obviously, I've been injured, haven't been, I've been at, at certain points within my fitness journey, and there's guys that are incredible that, you know, the stronger you get, the weaker you are, or the weaker you think you are. But everyone also has their own style, you have your own form of expression. You know, if you're going through something, sometimes it's nice to just bang out as many push ups as you can just because. Or like to do a handstand and just hold it there and chill in it for a long time just to provide some sense of stillness. So it is also a form of expression. Absolutely. I was actually just doing a couple of handstands in the gym today and people were asking me, hey, what you do there? You know, how long can you hold and all kinds of things. And <laughs> yeah, it was, you know. And it's growing, eh? Yeah. Lots more people know about calisthenics and. You know, Jordi, I met one of your mates in the gym, uh, Nicholas. Sorry? I'm not too sure who it is, but... He's quite a big boy and... Um, yeah, Blonde. He's... No, he's got dark hair. He's a Leo. But I, I can't remember his surname. <laughs> um, but yeah, his name's Nicholas and he said he, he, he knows you. Um, he owns a steel kind of production company. Uh, okay. I'm trying out, to think who it is. Out in Honeydew. It doesn't matter. Anyways... So I met this, this gent to the gym because, you know, I saw some dude, some big buff dude, you know, reminded me of you, Eta and myself and other boys like us. And I was like, nah, man, I need to go and talk to this guy. And we just had a good conversation in the gym. And it was nice to know that there are more people out there that are actually including this functional training. They're mixing a bit of a blend between weight training and functional training. I think a combination of them is very important because at, you know, once you get so strong in functional training, right, you, you, can, you can pretty much do whatever you can with your body. You need to add, apply weight to that to be able to level up from that level, right? So because, I mean, that's, that's quite a level to be able to achieve doing a, a, a full-on pull-up, chin over bar, or even get the bar to your chest. Uh, you know, these are, these are the, the little tips and tricks that I don't think people quite understand are, are missing from their their form and sorry to the crossfit guys out there i'm not a fan I don't <laughs> dig it. that's just my honest opinion um i think calisthenics as geordie is saying is that perfect foundation to build from 
Yoga is so important to stretch. Pilates is so important to tone and define. Um, you know, there are so many different ways of helping your body heal. So, Jordi, I want to know from you, for the community, where, where can people find you on your page? Tell us a little bit more about that and um, so your my, journey on socials. So, my Instagram handle is um, <clears throat> Jordi, J-O-R-D-I. So, it's just Jordi underscore Shred Movement. Um, I've got other, another page, Jordi underscore Sanders, which is... Um, which is, I've turned that into a page recently for just my skipping videos and bar dancing videos. So more of just the performing side of it, because obviously it's got to that level and I want to just have that just to show that. Because obviously you, you know, one thing I'm learning and reflecting on lately, I've been obviously dealing with my own personal issues is that we tend to always be chasing. And I have a client that I've been talking to and him and I, are at a different level, but in the same mind frame. And you always tend to be chasing, you know, calisthenics, it's like a healthy addiction, but sometimes it doesn't like, you know, you get a handstand and you want to front leave it, and you want to do this and you want to do that. And it's like, it's endless, you know, so you're constantly chasing and your body changes, your body changes. Um, I've had a bad shoulder injury where the surgeon told me I won't be injured. I won't be able to train ever again and do certain things. I was injured for three years, meditated, prayed, healed my body. That's why, I'm on here as well because I'm all about natural stuff. I try and have everything from God. And the point that I'm making is like we don't actually tend to look at our progress. You know, I, look, I came across some videos and old footage from 2021. I started shred movement in 2020. You know, and in my mind, my brother actually was speaking to me, and it's important to have your, your brothers and good people, you know, whether it's your blood or people who have good intentions for you around, just to remind you because we tend to be so hard on ourselves. Yeah, I'm not strong enough and fuck. Sorry, I'm not, 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 I'm not training hard enough. I'm not this, and my business isn't where it needs to be, and all this stuff. And then you come across videos and stuff. That's the nice thing about social media. And I looked at stuff, and I was like, "Geez, I'm actually not doing too bad," you know. And that's so. Ideally, for me, what my point is is that the reason why I also started with other pages. Um, it's good to have structure, and it's good to be obsessed and train hard. But uh, the best thing I can say to people is enjoy it. Like yes. right now, I'm, I'm at a point of, of like I'm having freedom within structure, you know, like just train, just mm -hmm. like that's where I'm at. Like now, I'm, I, look, it's taken me 12 years of 12, 13 years of training all the time, doing calisthenics since 2015 to obviously get nine years of it to get to a point where I can bar dance and do one of those things. Obviously, like I have my own flair and my own style compared to everyone else. But now I'm at a point of like, enjoyment not just doing top writers and all these things it's not like a thing like let me just express myself because for me it's a dance it's an art i had i had someone say to me the other day um you basically run like an only fans and i was like are you joking me <laughs> this is an art it's taken me 12 years of pain suffering blood sweat and tears and i'm not even joking like when i was injured i was i thought i was never going to do it again you know so you have to appreciate what people do. I mean, at this cliche saying, when people make things look easy, they've taken such a long time to, to do it and such a isolated period of loneliness to get there. So, yeah, that's, that's my two cents. That's lovely. You know, um, I, I definitely, you, you, your art is incredible. Um, your flow, like even even your static movements in the gyms and what have you, it's really adm admirable to see. You know, I've taken on board some of your exercises that you express out to the your community, and you know, it's really helped me um gain my core strength and what have you. So I'm sure you're motivating a lot of people out there. Martial arts, just as a comparative thing, it's it is an art. I mean, that's how it's expressed. It is an art. Yeah, and and people often see wow this Jordy man he's doing so incredible on here and it gets people motivated but motivation is temporary man you know it's consistency and the dedication to it so just uh, maybe cover a little bit about um your daily structure and how that consistency um unfolds in your daily life so <clears throat> i wake up in the morning obviously try and wake up between four and five every day I skip for about 
10 to 20 minutes in the morning. Skip it. Skipping is one thing I can say is I do every single day. So I make sure I get up and I skip. And if I don't have time and if I'm rushing for, for a client like today, I didn't skip in the morning. So for five to 10 minutes, I did like downward dog and I did some jump squats and I did a handstand against the wall. Just moving the body, you know, you got to try and look at it like as soon as you wake up, like if you look at a dog, when a dog wakes up, it stretches and it moves. So that's what I look at doing. I have a glass of water straight away and then I have a coffee, love coffee. Um, and then obviously I train my clients and things like that. And then I have... I've built into a habit in my mind where I train for about one to two hours every day. So it's all structured. It all depends on the day I have. Um, the benefit for me um, is that, like I said, I'm, I'm at a point where there's freedom in structure. So a lot of people, I give them plans, but my plans and how I structure everything is I have a day where I have an endurance. Like I'll have a Monday where I just do like basics. Whatever that's going to be, that's normally on like a Monday where I'll do push-ups and stuff because monday is normally your cut day in terms of in life as a normal mm -hmm. person i used to sell insurance so monday's your day you like come from the weekend i mean i don't i don't care who you are in the world you would ideally not want to go work on a monday and you want to chill we all want to chill anyone who stays out there they can be a billionaire they can be whatever you want to chill <laughs> you're right so monday's your harder day so you don't put pressure on yourself whatever you do like the basics always just do core full body workout on a Monday. Then either on a Tuesday or a Thursday, I'll do like endurance or explosive power. So it depends also on my emotional state. So if I'm feeling frustrated with something, if I'm going through something or I'm feeling tired, I'll do maximum reps and endurance on like a Tuesday. Um, Interesting. And then explo and explosive on a Thursday, simply for the fact that your body and it responds to emotions. So I've been injured before, so I take care of my body. So that's where I'm saying in terms of discipline, you need to enjoy it, but not be too disciplined. That's where I think people go wrong. Like if you swap your Tuesday and your Thursday workout, like it's not going to be the end of the world. <laughs> you know right. what I mean? Like if, if I give you a workout and I say you're going to do pull-ups, push-ups, squats, skip, plank, and you decide to start off with plank and you just do them in your own order, it's not like people are so – and I think that also comes from the bodybuilding community with yes. – with, you know, the structure and I've got legs, I'm doing leg extensions, I'm doing all this stuff. So if people think training is that, it's not. We're animals. So I basically do that. And then on a Wednesday, I'll do like a lot of floor work, handstands, cartwheels, animal movements, things like that on a Wednesday and a Friday. And then I do a lot of running. And then Saturday, also basically your calisthenics, endurance, freestyle. So that's basically the structure during the, during the week. But I make sure like I train every day. This year, I'm actually trying to focus on Sunday resting uh, because I like what's so obsessed with it. So now I'm just focusing on like on a Sunday if I do yoga for 10 minutes just to take a mental breather, you know? So that's sure. the best way to answer it. Appreciate that. Very, very nice. And, uh, you know, that's a really good, healthy way to look at it is to be flexible with the way that you are disciplined. And that sounds like an oxymoron, right? But it's not because if you're flexible with your discipline, it means that you're disciplined. You keep doing it every single day. You keep showing up for yourself because at the end of the day, training is just for yourself. It's not for anybody else. Actually, mm. I'd, l I'd love to make a t-shirt that, that, you know, I can go and wear in, in the gym that just says, I'm, I am here for myself, not for anybody else. And yeah, it's true. Yeah true and i think look I, i'll be honest i i train for myself and i do things for myself that's why i also dress a certain way i don't like to wear tight clothing because i like my clothes to be loose often at times when i go places like i'll go to gold's gym and then i'll be in the switch studio shooting my videos and often i i take my shirt off i record a video then i put my shirt back on you know it's not really and i remember the one guy walked in he's like yeah see brew like you you deck I didn't even know. I like, he's like, are you, are you a bodybuilder now? Are you juicing? And I was like, <laughs> no, brother. Like, this is how I look all the time. It's just because I'm not trying to, I'm here for me. But one thing I can admit for me as an individual, obviously because I dance and I, and I bar dance and I do these things, the music plays a critical role to a own personal story. And that's one thing I'll, I'll never deny. So for me, People who watch my stuff, if you know me, 
you'll know there's always a deeper meaning within my own story, within my own stuff. So I'm training for myself, but there's also, we are fighting demons. There are people in our hearts that we want to see our, our work, where there's people who we see every day and talk to every day. And you want to say, like, we, at the end of the day, we, we're children of God, meaning that we want to show people who we love what we do, whether we're in contact with them or not. So you're training for yourself, I agree. But that that's only for me. Like for me, it's when I'm performing, it's a uh, there's that's a exactly big, it. Yeah. You're an entertainer. And that's why <laughs> that is exactly why you love doing it for yourself, but for other people too, because you do it I for do. entertainment. Yeah. Like me. I love to entertain. It's true. That, just for me, eh? I want my own body shredded. I don't know about Etan, but <laughs> I love watching you <laughs> dance in your videos, Jordi. I love the little moves that you do on the floor as well. You know, it really entertains me. I love watching this stuff. And also, like Etan said, it gives me ideas too. So, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. What you... Yeah, I love how you, how you put the mask on eh, for your actual performances. Yeah. Uh, it keeps a little kind of space. You know, for, for people to imagine that that's actually them. Because when you watch a video, your neural networks are actually firing, you know, whether it's soccer, rugby, calisthenics, or whatever, those same neural networks are firing. So that's where the motivation comes in because somebody's actually feeling as though it's them that's on the bar in the moment. So, you know, take it a step further. Yeah, the mask, I actually wear the mask because obviously I like the Jabberwockies, it looks sick. But also I wear it because there was a time I thought I'd never do what I'm doing again. And I'm so blessed and thankful. But the reason also why I wear the mask is because, you know, we deal with a lot and we actually wear a mask in life. So people don't know what we're dealing with. So I put it on and like, even when I performed and I competed again in 2022, I wore the mask because no one, I, I wore it because no one saw what I was going through in my struggles. So when I was up there and I was doing it, I didn't, no one, there's only, uh, that was for me. No one can, could see my expressions. And it's just to represent how in life we, sometimes we put on a mask, we try and act okay. You know, and, and shred movement's a very deep thing to my spirit and my core. You know, it's something I've done for free for a long time. You know, even now to this day, I'm, I'm an empath. I give a lot, I help a lot. And sometimes I get frustrated because people take advantage of that. And, and that's also the reason why I do what I do just to motivate people, just to really be like, it's going to be okay, you know? So, absolutely. So, of course, there's, yeah, there's your social media pages and what have you, but I mean, you know, can people contact you on an email address to start training with you? Um, you know, shout out to yeah. Jordi. Yeah, the Basically. best way is to then for them to maybe just DM me. Um, yeah. I think my email is on my, in on my Instagram. They can get in touch with me. It is, it is there. So, there's always ways. That's fantastic. We'll make sure for the community that we leave the links down in the description of the video and pinned in the comments above. Make sure to check him out there. And uh, Jordi, you know, you've given a lot of insightful information and this is just literally the tip of the iceberg to our community out there, uh, to the Shred Movement and the Synergy Organics communities. You know, you've used our products. You feel good when you use them yourself. No, they are good. Thank and you. I don't put tuck in my body, so they're good. Very good, man. Appreciate that. And, you know, to the community, go check Jordy's page out. Check how shredded he is. This stuff, <laughs> as he said, does not take seconds. It's not an overnight fix. This is literally just years and years of pain and hard work. And I'm going to tell you all, once upon a time, I was a fat kid too. I did calisthenics and then I lost all of it and then I started again. You can do it at any age. Make no mistake. So don't waste another second. Jordi and Etan, leave us with a little comment for the community. Thank you to all of you. Subscribe to the channel and make sure to follow for more content like this. Definitely. So well, after you, Jordi. Now, you know, well, actually, my comment would definitely be, you know, you're skinny, you got muscle, you're fat, like you can do it, you know, whatever, whatever level of fitness you're at, you can definitely start by doing it. It's your body and taking more control of your body is certainly the fundamental basis of building a foundation for your health and fitness, your level of integrity within yourself.
So yeah, Jordi, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on board here. Uh, we it. love you. Um, yeah, your power and your strength and your motivation to the community. So I appreciate you very much, eh? And you, Kiara. Definitely so. Jordi, leave, leave the community with something cool, man. I think what just naturally comes to mind is don't be intimidated, be inspired. And Brilliant. I think be inspired by when someone can do something you cannot because you don't know what they've done to get there. Because often that person who has got the shiny tools and the shiny whatever you want to call it, be it anything, you know, you don't know what that person has gone through to achieve that. So be inspired. They often will be in a position to share knowledge because they just want to help. Um, and yeah, just you can achieve anything, you know. I couldn't even dance before I only started dancing at 25 years old or 29. Now I think I can always improve. I can dance like a machine. So <laughs> just start. It's just a, it's just a case of starting and being. You got to be willing to be. You got to be willing to suck. Because let me tell you, all three of us have done things, and I can tell you we've sucked. <laughs> Yeah, Absolutely. exactly. Fail until you get it, until you get it. Some people say like fail your way to success. So, Jordi, Etan, thank you for being here. You guys Appreciate have been amazing. Guys. God bless you. Same to you. We'll see you guys soon. Take care. Right. Take care, gents. Cheers. Cheers.